Todd Day, I do proudly serve the community as town manager, and I am tickled pink to have another announcement in the town table today. So everybody's excited. Let's do Absolutely. On Main Street, five years ago, when you walked up Main Street, if you were thirsty, you would die of thirst before you got to the other end of Main Street. And that's a fact. Is it not, Mayor? That's correct. You could not buy a soft drink on Main Street. Irma, is that correct? You couldn't do it. I'm not talking about a hard... You couldn't even buy a soft drink. But now there's a drink machine up there. We have two, re two restaurants open, two more planning. We got some retail on Main Street. And today, we're going to have another huge announcement for the town of Tazel. I'm just tickled pink to be part of it. Um, if you are an elected official at the local, when I mean local, the town of Tazel, raise your hand. The mayor, I see Miss Boyd is here. Jack Murray back there, and if I'm missing somebody, don't fire me. I know it doesn't take the three of you, so I apologize. <laughs> How about the IDA? Town of Tazel IDA? Okay, I see a couple of Nancy Brooks, uh, Kim said, anybody else from Chad? Chad's back here. Um, Planning Commission. Okay, look, these people that you see in this room that raised their hands just now are all at the lowest local level. So when you say local level, a lot of people say, well, that means county. And we feel like that our state elected officials are local too. But I'm talking about at the town of Thousand level. But they all have stepped up. The marching order that they have presented, uh, the unbiased decisions, the budgetary process, the giving back to the community, uh, the wisdom to make tough decisions, uh, the ability and the chance that they took on hiring that Todd Day guy as town manager, I'm blessed to be part of it, and they really stepped up. So I'm not going to drag it out anymore. Um, thank you for being here. I want to introduce to you our chairman of our IDA, Mr. Chad Murray. opportunity to stand in front of you and to uh, welcome Sunset Communications to the town of Tazewell. As the chairman of the Industrial and Economic Development Authority, you know, I try to serve our community in a way that to make sure that every opportunity for everyone who wants to be a part of our community from an economic development standpoint has the opportunity to, to do that. And uh, to see everyone here today to support this, uh, uh, this announcement, I, I'm just thrilled. And, and I'm also thrilled as a, as a local business owner and a citizen to have the opportunity to have um, um, the services that Sunset is, wants to provide to our community. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the hard work you've done to get to this point. And uh, because it means the world to our community that we're going to have someone um, with your services to be able to support us and to take care of our businesses and our families. So thank you so much. Um, How many people are, in, are live in the town of Tazewell? Okay, there's a lot of us. So you share my excitement, right? Yes. <laughs> Especially the business owners. But um, I, I don't want to take a whole lot of time other than to, than to say, again, thank you so much for you know, the opportunity to stand up here and to welcome these folks. And thank you guys for your support. And uh, you know, after this announcement, you know, go out and tell everyone, because everyone needs to know what these guys are, are bringing to us. And, uh, what they're going to be doing for our community. So, with that said, I'd like to introduce our uh, Mayor, Donnie Buchanan. Thank you, Chair. It's a great honor to be able to serve the town of Tazewell, but also it's a great honor to, to welcome Sunset Digital Communications to the town of Tazewell. And we're ecstatic about the opportunities they will provide. Uh, like Todd said, you know, five years ago, we, we didn't have nothing. We were fine. So we started thinking out of the box a little bit. Sure enough, we got one thing and another thing. In five years' time, this is the, will be the 17th ribbon cutting new businesses in the town of Castle. So, you know, hats off to our business leaders, hats off to the people who want to step up, hats off to Sunset Communications to step up to provide necessary services for our community. You know, it's a, it's a snowball effect. And 
I probably live at one of the highest points in town. The town's now, used to not to. But, you know, with the snow, it sort of gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Down gets down to Main Street, it's pretty big. Down gets down to the country, it's going to be a big snowball. Because we got another announcement next week. <laughs> uh, but, again, welcome to the town of Tazewell. Uh, when I was doing a little bit of research on, on them, they had one thing that caught my eye. And uh, it's sort of like uh, things I've said in the past, you know, is that perception for our community. What do you perceive yourself as? How do you present yourself? You know, the guy on the street you talk to might be Bill Gates. He brings more than a million, million dollars job to them. But their motto is, remember where you come from. And I appreciate that. Remember where you come from. And town of Dazzle, we don't remember where we came from. This time, I'd like to introduce our supervisor, Mike Himes. He's also a member of the Hillman Plateau uh, Commission, along with myself. And I'm not sure who else is in here on that committee, but uh, uh, it's a, a tiny job. We're trying to uh, solicit their close that deal. You know, Jeff and uh, Lynn, uh, Paul, and or, I mean, Ryan, it was an endless job. So this time, I'm going to introduce Mike Himes. Thank you, Mayor. I think Jeff Mitchell will tell you that uh, I kept him up at night saying, hurry. Hurry with this deal, Jeff. Hurry up. <coughs> are we done yet? I see these guys in Richmond. I said, when are we going to be done? Uh, broadband and these kind of services are, are the 20th century water and sewer projects. It's necessary infrastructure if your community is going to grow. We've got to have broadband and cell service. Millennials won't even stop at your gas station if you don't have a, a, a Wi-Fi connection. So Paul and Ryan are doing a great thing for this community and Southwest Virginia. Cumberland Plateau is tickled to be a partner with them. Once you get the deal done, it's easy to be partners, right? <laughs> uh, and we got the deal done, and that's the main thing. We got the deal done. Uh, I know Will, I want to uh, thank Will Moorefield for his support, the Tobacco Commission support. Senator Chaffin, thank you so much for your help. Can't do it without Richmond. There's no way to do it without Richmond. You can do it without Washington, but you can't do it without Richmond. Uh, the mayor mentioned the growth of Tazewell. I can't be up here and not mention Tazewell today, which was a small group of people who are local business owners that stepped up, put their money up themselves to start the process of rebuilding Tazewell and Main. <laughs> There's going to be one more ribbon cut, Mayor. Sometime this month, we'll cut the ribbon at my place, so I'm a local business owner too. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm thrilled to have these guys here. I, I was handed a little bio, you know, you always get a bio about these guys. It says, uh, founded in 2003 by father and son team, the CEO, Paul Ellswick, and the COO, Ryan Ellswick. Sunset has been a front runner of remote rural fiber to the premises. That last link, that's what they do and they're famous for it. They're in Scott County, they're in Lee County. If you think it's far between houses in Tazewell County, you need to go to Lee County. It's a long way between houses. Uh, they got a grant from the Tobacco Commission to do that work. And they now have offices in Duffield, Kingsport, and Tazewell, okay? So without any further ado, I want to introduce the stars of the show today, Ryan and Paul Ellswick, and thank them very much for their commitment to Southwest Virginia and Tazewell County. Thank you all very much for having us. We're overwhelmed with the support we've had for the last two and a half years. Um, 
we want to announce today that we will be putting a facility in the town of Tazewell that will be responsible for the uh, construction, maintenance of the outside plant in the region. It's strategically located to where we can support Bluefield, uh, Whitfield, Marion, and back into Grundy from this location. So it's already worth staying on <laughs>
that shows up on a map at our office and shows clusters of, of interest that will then be contacted and, and then put through the contract process. And, but what we'll do is we'll identify those places that, that are asking for service. And we will make a plan and we'll mark out an area uh, that we're going to focus on. And the sales team, headed by David Christian, who's floating around here somewhere, is uh, going to, to blink that area with, with, with marketing and probably knock on your door uh, and, and, and see if you want service. And then we're going to send in teams of crews. We're going we're gonna to put up what it's called, a, we're calling concert dates. So we're going to say, well, we're going to be in this area between these dates and sign up now because the band leaves town after that and might not be back for a while, just, just, like, a, just like a regular concert. So the linemen will come in, the installers will come in, and we'll sweep through that area, and then we'll move on to the next one. And eventually, instead of a series of concert dates, there will be simultaneous concert dates going on in multiple places across Southwest Virginia. So uh, that's the biggest thing, is to let yourself be known um, and, uh, and, and, and keep tabs with us on, on where the construction is, and we'll have a place on the website to, to keep you updated. Um, and, uh, and, and we look forward to it, and we, uh, we appreciate you guys having us, and uh, we'll be around to, if you have any questions uh, uh, for us later on. And I'd like to thank uh, uh, Delegate Moorfield and Senator Shapin for, for their support. I, I have to say that with everything that goes on in, in Washington, the one thing that brings Virginians together on both sides of the aisle uh, is broadband. <laughs> and, uh, uh, this, the support that we've seen from, from, from our delegates and our senators uh, and the governor's office and, and beyond is just uh, amazing. And we, we thank you for having us. And next, Senator Shaken, if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, I, it looks like I get a chance to, uh, to wrap things up, and I'm hoping that I do a better job of it than the legislature did uh, with the adjournment, <laughs> because we didn't quite get finished up there. We're going to have to go back and do some things. Congratulations to, to Paul and to Ryan and to Town Taswell and this community. What a winning story this is uh, going forward. And I can tell you, uh, you know, when we fall to our knees, we're always looking for answers. Well, let me tell you, the, in the legislature, we're looking for answers too. And broadband is one of those answers. It's one of those answers uh, that our rural communities need, desperately need, and it's something that I, it has been a priority of mine uh, and our delegation since, uh, since I became involved in politics. It's something that we have to have. It's, it's the one tool that levels these mountains. We love our mountains. We love where we live. We love how beautiful it is. It's God's country. But I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you that, that we also have to have the very same amenities, the very same services that the communities that we compete against that live uh, in areas that don't have the barriers of the mountains. Uh, we have to have those same services, and we're working tirelessly. Uh, I've carried uh, legislation to increase funding for broadband. Uh, rural Broadband Development and, of course, the Tobacco Commission uh, has listed it as one of its top priorities uh, to get rural uh, broadband out to our communities. And, uh, and we, are, we are going to be, as, the future, as, as we go forward in the future, there will be millions and millions of dollars of grants announced uh, through the Tobacco Commission. But, you know, this didn't happen without a whole lot of work. Politics, like the old saying, politics it all starts locally and uh, and success all starts locally too you've worked very hard the community has pulled together here uh, i'm just I'm, I'm very pleased to hear about 17 announcements and how the town of Tazewell uh, is thriving and growing and uh, it's it's an exciting time for me to return home from uh, richmond so i say once again i say congratulations to all the skilled talented and hard-working people that put, uh, put these efforts together and made this a success. Thank you. Okay, I uh, will remind everybody that we've got a reception just after this up at the seven, and I think we've got a, uh, uh, 
Uh, yeah, ribbon cut. So it's, it's going to be interesting.